right, so we're going to begin with our middle finger on the second fret, third string, and our first finger on the first fret, second string. And you just start off like that. And then your third finger will go here, plus open four. And then yeah, use one and two. And then you want to keep this finger down while you hammer on. So you're going to go... Open five, open one. And then pull off three to one on the second string. So slowly that line's gonna go. And then measure four, you're gonna do a hammer on. So one to three. This note on beat two. So measure four is going to go like this. Now we're going to do the same melody but with a little bit different bass line. So you're going to go. And then this is going to be the same as what we had. And then third finger, fifth string. And you want to try and keep this down. So that line beginning at measure four goes like this. Measure eight. And then it starts off the same. Now we're gonna go to that first fret on the, so measure nine is gonna go. So slowly that line goes, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and. Now we're going to play a D minor chord at the fifth fret. This is a full D minor chord. We're just going to play a partial one. So you've got one, two, three, and then open fourth string. And I strum it but not a big strum. I just use my first finger and strum the strings. And then you're gonna hit the third string, like that. So it's gonna go. And that third string again, open first. So that measure is gonna go. With this open string that allows you to get down to here. And then you repeat. And then you're gonna hit the third and second strings. So that measure is gonna go A major chord. One. So it goes like this. So that line begin at measure 12 sounds like this. Measure 16, I do an A major chord. And I'm strumming it by taking the middle finger and moving it back and forth like that. So just. So then the latter half of measure 16, it all repeats what we had at the beginning. changes. Measure 31, we have this A major chord, open first string, so you've got, and then pull off three, down to one. Measure 32, we have two open Ds, and then middle finger, third fret, fifth string plus the open first, so you have this, and then 
one and two. So those two measures slowly is gonna go one, two, three, one, two, and three. A major chord. And I do a strum there. And this one I will fan the fingers out. So latter part of that measure then is gonna go. And then two A's. So it's gonna go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Measure 36, it's a G minor chord, but it's a different type of G minor. So here's, I mean, it's a normal G minor, but here's G minor. Now we're gonna add the pinky to the sixth fret. So you got this. And then I take off the pinky and hit the first and second string. So it's. And then I hit the six, five, four, and three strings. So it's. And then you have this. This is a an A suspended chord. So that middle finger goes to the third fret on the second string. That keep that makes it suspended. Take off the middle finger like that. Measure 36 to the beginning of measure 39. Sounds like this slowly. One, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to repeat some of the chords that we did earlier. We're just going to add a right hand pattern to them. So you're going to go hammer on. This is that D minor chord we talked about earlier. So thumb is going to hit the fourth string. Ring will hit the middle. Ring will hit the first string. Middle finger will hit the second. Index finger will hit the third. So slowly it's going to go. And then pull off plus open four. So it's gonna go. Now we're gonna do a C chord with the pinky on the third fret first string. And then we're gonna slide up third fret to the fifth fret. So beginning at measure 40, it's gonna go like this. Then it repeats. So that's the same as measures 40 and 41. Now we're gonna do this A7 chord. So here's a normal A, but I just lay a bar covering the four strings and I add my middle finger to the third fret. And I'll just go, I'll strum it. First fret open, so it's. So those two measures are going to go like this. Measure 48, we have a D minor chord. First finger acts as a guide finger, like that. So you got one, two, three, and C chord. Pinky acts as a guide finger down. C chord with that pinky on the third fret, first string. First fret, open. So those two measures you're gonna go. F major. Third fret, fifth fret. C chord, hammer on. So that line's gonna go like this. One, two, three, and one. Fifty-two. We have an F major chord. So normally, like here's an F. Here's another F. Um, but this is another version of the F. So you've got this, and then pull off three to one. A major. First fret, open. So. And then two D's. Open like that. So it's one, two, three, and, and it repeats. One, two. Now it's gonna go three, open. So that line's gonna go one, two, three, 
and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and. Then this, uh, we have D minor. Open, hammer on. So it's C chord, G, third fret, first string. First fret, third fret. So it's. Then we have that F chord I showed you. And then you can go to the eighth fret, second string, sixth fret, second string. So it's. This is a B flat chord. I don't play the first string, so I don't I don't lay the bar down carving the first string. I'll just I'll keep the bar up and I'll play it like that. You can also play it like this, third finger. So you have this, D minor, third fret, fifth fret. So that line slowly goes like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. This is that G minor chord I showed you earlier with the pinky. Then you take off the pinky, second string, first string. D minor, pull off. So it's, here's that A sus4, open, second fret. So it's gonna go, and then the last part I strum it. So the pattern is gonna go, down, down, up, down, 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 down. So I'm going. So I'm going like that. So we start with this D minor chord that I showed you earlier to that G minor chord I showed you to that F chord up here, C chord right here, G minor, F, A, D minor. That D chord up here. G minor, F, C. G minor, F, A. Then it repeats. And then second to last measure. And you end right there. So half bar at 10. So beginning measure 78, you're going to go. 